Hey everybody, it's May 1916, Central Power's turn. And once again, they gave one more shot, trying to break the line right here, and left one Russian unit left. And had a few exchanges in the process. And it just couldn't get the job done. I think the Germans are probably going to maybe give up trying to take St. Petersburg for a while. Over here, they pulled back their demoralized forces which these will disappear at the end of the turn and reconsolidated their line right here pulled some more units out and did one attack there was a uh, army group right here for the Russians there was three army groups attacked it and basically took out uh, the Russians that were there as the end result, they did have a few exchanges in the process and lost a couple cores. Over here, they from the troops that got pulled out of the line, ended up over here uh, to reform a new line over here to block the oncoming forces over here. The Austrians figured out the shortest supply line they had was go for the corner of the border right here, so they are still in supply at the moment. And they're making their way as fast as they can to get over here to uh, stay in supply. So it's like re you know, kind of pulling the lines back to uh, figure out what's going on in here. Because right now the Germans are starting to get stretched a little bit, uh, trying to get all their forces out. And it looks like they may have to start pulling troops out of France to. Uh, make up the losses that they have and the holes in their line. There is a couple garrisons that, uh, now they got a couple, like four cores that are parked way over there in uh, northern part of France. So they can pull a few out and still have to garrison areas, but they do have some sort of reserves left uh, to be used. And obviously over here we have uh, some British troops there. Over here, uh, the Germans that were demoralized in the previous attack fell back into Serbia, get onto the rail hub right here, get out of the, the problem they have. I think they're giving up on Bulgaria and uh, maybe falling back. It's hard to say. It's not sure if that they can handle everything. They just don't have the troops at the moment to handle it. Russia and making up the difference for the Austrians who seem to be failing at the moment, which is causing the Germans to fail. And they're looking over here and it's like, we just wish we could get some of these Italians to do something. But the Italians can't do anything because they until the British or Americans or Russians end up right around here. Italians can't do anything. They're stuck over here in Italy. Until that point happens, then they can get to about, they can deploy to about right here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's like five hexes. There's a line right there around their country that they can do something. So they're very limited. Unlike in the previous Guns of August game, which uh, they could march about anywhere they wanted to. But in this one, they are limited in, in the scope of their operations. So that is pretty much the Central Powers' turn. I think they're going to probably consolidate some more next turn and just see what happens. All right, we'll be back. All right, buddy. It is... May 1916, Allied Powers turn. Nothing much happened here, but reinforced the line. Some from reinforcement from St. Petersburg. Over here, the Moscow front. The Russians went on the offensive. There was a lag, that one lagging German unit that was there. Did get attacked and was demoralized and fell back. So that was the only thing that happened there. Over here, the Russians went on an offensive again. Caught that one core that was sitting there, demoralized it, and pushed it back to here. 
without any losses. So that's a demoralized unit there. Over here, Brits attacked this one German army group that was sitting here. Took some losses. They lost a couple cores in the process of taking out that one. But they did eliminate that one Russian army group that was sitting there. Russians came along and tried to, you know, they're trying to catch these guys that are trying to escape. The uh, Russian cav over here did cut off the supply line right there. I think this is, yeah, that's what they went, got as far as there. I think they went, yes. So they cut that. So one, two, three, four. Five. So this unit is in supply. That unit is out of supply at the beginning of the turn. So that's going to be a problem for them. About to break out an unsupplied marker. Now the big news of the day. Well, you notice Bulgaria is no longer in the war. The Brits decided that this little upstart little country need to learn something, and they got a good lesson. Sofia has fallen, so all three cities of Bulgaria are no more, so there is no more Bulgaria. So now the powers to be here in the for the British High Command are now eyeing retaking back Serbia from the Austrians. So this might be their next offensive is take Serbia back and then march on to Budapest and Vienna maybe take Trieste back so it's a kind of a two-front war but they are losing some steam up here and gaining steam up here because they do have some reinforcements I'll probably get off there there's it's supposed to be right there and we'll have to see at the beginning of June what's gonna happen. I think Greece we have to roll for see if Greece does something I do believe and it's not until I think August when we have to worry about Romania. And I don't think Romania has a chance of going to the Central Powers. If I remember right, with all the modifiers at the moment. So we'll have to, when the time comes, but it's not till August. So come June, we got clear weather, so all the supply lines have advanced where they need to be so i think that's pretty much it when it comes to everything uh other than a bunch of americans are parked over there in britain yes more reinforcements had shown up in britain so there is a bunch of americans parked just trying to figure out what to do so we'll find out all right we'll be back